Go ahead and get to these three keys, man. Let's get into these three keys, man, man. Um, Mike, I'm gonna let you go ahead and start off with the three keys. Like, what are the three keys the Atlanta Falcons need in order to beat the Carolina Panthers? Um, I literally have nothing wrote down, so this is gonna be right off the top and just based on Carolina's history. This um, this season. Um, the first one is continue to make sure that uh, Sam Dono continue to see those goals. So um, at this point in time, um, if you have not seen the video with DJ Shockley, he was pretty much stating that, that the Falcons are doing an incredible job of um, disguising their pressures and that's like confusing a lot of quarterbacks. Um, if you continue that, I think you'll get a couple of at least two opportunities to get interceptions off Sam Dono. Cause like, like I said, the dude was seeing ghosts right now. So you continue to disguise the blitzes, disguise your pressure. Um, two, uh, right now, I think what Arthur Smith is doing with. Uh, Cordero Patterson just continue to use him as just a Swiss army knife and just use him in different spots. So he's the focal point of the offense. Is 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 weird to say that, and that you have a guy like uh, you know Kyle Pitts, Kyle Kyle Ridley. Right now, like he's the most he's the most dangerous threat until Calvin Ridley kind of come back around. He's the most dangerous threat on threat on offense. So continue to get him the ball, feed him more. I right? feed him more. That's all you got to do. All right, the third one, um, feed him more. That's all you got to do. So continue to feed him more. And the third one, and probably the most important, um, clock management. We got to continue our great clock management. And how we, um, I was extremely happy how we. Uh, went into halftime. Um, they did a great job of you know uh, uh, going into halftime, um, but closing the game. Um, I, I stated early in this season that it was highly controversial because a lot of people um, just felt like he should have been more aggressive, um, and I, I, I it, it was for good cause. The reason why I said what he's doing, and we have to understand as fans that we are fans first. Um, but we got to put our fandom aside because what really wins games is the small intricate details of football, clock management, being able to run the ball and establish the run. So like what the Falcons, if you didn't hear the commentary with Moose Johnson, that's why I love Moose Johnson. He, he pretty much said that during the game is like, even if you're not getting five yards, six yards of pop, just the threat of running the ball on first down in itself is going to open up everything. And Matt Ryan, just that threat of the run, you know you're going to run the ball even if you get to. The defense has to honor that. So later on in the game, when you're doing that same play action of the same formations, guess what? They're going to bite on those things. And that's why you got Kyle Pitts running on the side. That's why you got Calvin Ridley. You got one of the slowest wide receivers, no disrespect, to Russell Gage wide open downfield because of that play action face. So continue to run the ball in the third. And um, yeah, continue to run the ball so you can open up play action. Mm-hmm.